Money is on the ball dude, because YMCA did take it over Master Mario 2 1 out in pools. Master Mario did beat out Captain Pikachu and Strategist. And YMCA fight Virus Magnet to make it out. So, I'm sorry, fought, fought Virus Magnet, then fought Master Mario. Yeah, so YMCA, you know, had a real hot tournament last week too. Yeah. Uh, ended up, you know, top five. I don't remember his exact placing off the top of my head, but, you know, came out real strong last week. Well, my well. friend with uh, SoCalSmash.net, you can find out on those tournaments <laughs> right away, dude. It's literally the beauty of the website. You can check out any tournament. It's got the nice little bars. I'm not going to lie, guys. If you guys are at home and you got, got the Twitch or you got two monitors, you got, you got a little internet page, just check out SoCalSmash.net. Let's see, let's see all these tournaments. I'll tell you guys about why you see it. Potion actually gin tech on a first place turn like too. Pretty crazy. Wait, no, it was there. Oh, I just lost it. Players have locked their characters and they have locked their stages in. Let's go into it. Actually, yeah, you're right. YMC got fifth last weekend at MSM. Yeah, I mean, they had quite the run last week. Looking to replicate, already getting a win over Master Mario. Can he get another on I'm Hit? Yeah, man, it's pretty good. Two week momentum swing. You can take out one, one former PR player. You can hopefully take another. He's going to start off with his DK against Omar. Kind of an interesting pick. I mean, this matchup seems to be really an all my favorite. He has a great DC, good damage output. Speaking Two of... up smashes into three up airs. That is all of our for you right there. 74, 80, 99% onto YMCA, and he hasn't even got to play yet. Hey man, this man barely, literally just touched I'm him, got 10% of him. So you can hold the sticks, but I can play the game. Alright, YMCA trying to get some damage on, but it's not looking great right now. I'm hit. Mom says it's his turn on the Xbox. Let him play. <laughs> and he says not today. There's the back here from I'm hit taking the first stock already. It's kind of like a little situation. Look, hey man, Champ said I can play next. And then he's like, oh, you see you can play next, man. Right now, Champ said it's <laughs> Champ said it's, Champ said it's my turn. He's like, nah, man, it's your turn, man. I know it's not going to let you win. It's the quick match. Maybe it is his turn. Maybe it is his turn. <laughs> as long as you got a control on your hands, you should never give up. I percent onto YMCA. He gets the grab though. He answers it right back. There's from I'm hip off the ledge. Down to answers a barely I'm hip. Looks for a nair actually. Expecting him to pop out a little bit faster. Okay, gets the grab into the back throw. I'm hip with the edge guard phase. The opportunity here. 115, he's done a lot to prevent him to this percentage here. But can he take the stop? Can he really go red Pikmin latches on? Oh, there's the side head, but oh, oh that oh. will not kill. I'm actually I'm not able to find this kill on to YMCA. Almost died of that up to goes for it. Over there. I feel like we're seeing some nerves come out on yeah, the YMCA though. You know, it feels like he's going for some options that aren't, you know, necessarily the most advised in the situation. Yeah. Oh, great landing there with the slap though. Nice little new chair. I mean, he still has two stocks. He's going to go in on YMCA. Nice. There's the out of shield punish, but he misses the opportunity because YMCA goes for the spot dodge immediately. Trying to avoid any more percent or even losing the stock that way. Yeah, I'm here telling us this is the ideal setup with, I, uh, with all of them right now. He had two purples and a blue. <sighs> it's kind of sucks for DK, too, dude. Recovery isn't as good as it was to try. Back at Halloween Smash 4, and immediately I'm here takes over the two stock at 147%. No oh, man, YMT can pick up a dish, man, but he can't even finish his own entree, so I'm <laughs> literally digging it over YMT in that one. Yeah, but with... I mean, he started to look real strong for a little bit, but he just kind of died. Yeah, it's like one of those situations where, like, YMT was able to live at high percent because he's a big body, right? He's got the weight. But when it comes down to, like, the overall game plan, 
a frying hip, it's I understand he's a big body, so if I'm able to space him, bring him out into the edge, get those edge guards, beat the recovery, but that because DK doesn't have a great recovery, like uh, it's not as good as it was in that one. So now looking for the edge guard and immediately Prime Hip starts almost three percent of the way even climbing higher. Okay, the upbeat does have a bay of armor, he's gonna just go through that right there. Has I'm him stuck on the ledge. I'm putting him in an awkward spot, but he actually gets a lot of damage before the can explodes on him. I think going a little bit deep to make sure he gets the recovery and avoids any of YMC's edge. Off stage play, really sets him into the can into the back air. Great setup there from I'm hit the can, keeping the pressure onto YMCA on the ledge here. Tries nice. to jump on stage with that side thing. He gets grabbed out of it. He can't come in out again. Trading with the back end. These can won't kill necessarily, but they'll keep getting a lot of damage onto YMCA. Okay, so far I'm hip. Pretty much the lead here. I am YMCA at 186. Nice to go for that down tilt, but immediately made the rise. Play. There's I, the upper I, <laughs> I mean, I respect him going for that option, but when you're, when you're high on the stage and you got Duck and Dog below you, it's, it's, it doesn't play out well. Good. It's not a good one. Not a good one. Alright, there's the upper from I could try to get all of this damage onto YMCA. YMCA is not really able to get through the small projectiles from Duck and Dog. Alright, oh, oh my god, okay. He wasn't able to tech actually because the uh, can explode so close and we didn't even saw the red flash. Yeah. Honestly, that untechable, I'm not a big fan of it, but I do appreciate at least it has a visual modifier. Yeah. It's untechable so that, you know, you can't get, you know, just can't make fun of you afterwards and tell you that you're like, well, it was untechable, I swear. Yeah. I got proof it's now. Even, it's even visual for us, right? The commentator, so we're like, yeah. able to tell now. Yeah, like, there's just nothing you can do in that situation. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like an inherent, like, nerf, but buff. Like, yeah, we can't, some things are really untechable, but at the same time, at least we can kill Hey, you can kill Fox now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and that was not the trade you want there, YMCA. I feel like I feel like at this point, I think it's just playing games with YMCA. Like he's literally just understands the game. If I have this cannon here and YMCA is around it at this point, <laughs> he's gonna fall into it. But immediately YMCA takes the initiative to get the grab and tries to go for three, four up airs, landing with a down and not a great opportunity, especially when you face the shield. And I'm able to great punish afterwards. You gotta be careful when you commit to trying to get a revenge landing like that. You will suffer some lag, especially when you hit a shield. And immediately, I am trying to set up the double clay pigeon into the down air. That move is actually nerfed from the last game. Yeah, oh my for the god! First one. Oh my god! And he's able to get 